Learn to be super successful. Subscribe to my channel, me head. Uh, we are, we get the ten percent of net revenue until we get to seven hundred fifty thousand, but we don't understand a protection that limits uh, our payout to paying no more than fifty percent of net income in a given year. Is that the net income for the full year? Fifty percent of the net income? Oh, I, I don't know. We're a bit confused. I don't know either. I mean, the, uh, yeah, not very. No, clear. The thing is, it's about two million dollars in sales business. 500k EBITDA in 2021, then they lost one big customers and they basically lost a million in sales and they have no more net profit at the end of the year. That the one customer... Wants to, he wants to sell but not exit, <clears throat> stay in the company and have like a you know backup from a big consortium or whatever, as they often say as well. Uh, and so they're paying this price, which is not what it's worth, but in a smart way, 100% 100% earn out over no limit of time. And they made this rule where they pay him that 10% each year of the net income. So my understanding is what's left at the end of the year. And uh, Well, net income, I mean, is either net income, uh, normally means after taxes. Okay. Okay. In this country, they use before tax. That's the US, so it's after tax. Okay, so it's after tax. It could make sense. So the guy stays in, he wants 750k, why not? And it's an earn out, so every year you manage our company recently bought, and we give you 10% of the net profit until we get to this price. Forever, if it's, it takes forever. No I'm risk. Yeah. I'm the only thing. So no cash. No cash, like one, one dollar at first, and you actually yeah, have to sit down. It's got to be consideration to make it a Not 100% seller finance, but 100% earn out, even better. Condition to, no condition actually, it's just 10% of the profit. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's all. What do they mean? It says we also have a protection that limits our payout to paying no more than 50% of our net income in a given year. What do you mean by protection? Well, that means contractually, uh, you know, they, uh, yeah, but the, the, the numbers are going to be historical. So you're not going to know whether it's 50% till after the fact. All right. Okay. Oh, so if this goes really like high and it's about, if 10% of this, that's not possible. You could get 10% of this higher than 50% of sales. It's weird anyway. But yeah. The idea of 100% or right now, it's, it's smart. Uh, this I is haven't the, managed to do it yet. <laughs> this is the last thing it says. It says, we've required an operations loan working capital of approximately one month's expenses at 110000 to be to be provided by the sellers at closing which will be paid back over 12 months, 25K per month, 25 times, 25K per month, to, oh, my, oh, sorry, uh, over 12 months, so 25,000 month one, 25,000 month two, 5,000 months three to 14. Yeah, fine, but th- th- that's a question, Mr. Pena. You have basically crumbs left to eat at the end yeah. of the year. How, with what cash are you going to pay back a working cap loan? You can't, right? I mean, you have no proof you're going to be able to do it, so... Mm. Well, uh, do they uh, presuppose on some performer basis that they're going to be able to increase the revenue? That's probably what he sold them, yeah, maybe, but you don't know that. I mean, I, Well, I don't like e-commerce uh, shit, no, because it's one, it's uh, it's very easy for them to go get the numbers up because they could be f- f- uh, filling the bank accounts with uh, e-commerce revenue from another venture, and unless you do a really forensic accounting, you won't know where the income comes from when you just look at the income statement in the balance sheet. Well, the, it's... it's is, is, is this, are they buying this from a white guy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's, from Sil- he's from Silicon Valley, so... I put, but there's, there's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. there's a lot of Asians there. <clears throat> we, should, uh, we should look at your deal. Okay. Uh, how you... That's this one. This is the... the uh, German deal. Yeah, well, no, but it's a gun. Guns, but not guns. Yeah. No, no, no. The gun deal, my husband. Yeah. It's an archery, it's an archery deal. deal. I mean, we get like real archery? Yeah. Okay. Real archery okay. and um, crossbows. That's the USP of this company, arrows, targets, and crossbows they have patents on. So the CEO is 70, 70 years old, and he's the owner to the, together with his daughter who is the owner as well. She has the most shares, 90% and 10% has 
the CEO, her father. She's 45 years, but she doesn't want to have the full responsibility and she wants to be a co-CEO. But her father will not make it anymore with 17 years. He is really old. Um, they have 15 employees in sales, five logistics and online marketing. It's a solely B2B business and they also um, import private labels from China and US. They have 200 suppliers, all balanced, so none of them is pretty um, big. They are all uh, balanced and the numbers are 2019 sales 1.4 million, EBIT DR 124p and earnings 88. 2020 was the corona year and it was very good for archery. Um, they made sales of 1.9 million, EBIT DR 251k and earnings 177k and 2021 one point Those earnings are before taxes? After tax. After. Okay. Earnings. 1.6 in 2021, EBIT 183 and earnings 132. Um, they want, the asking price was 1 million and our offer was uh, 100% for 10 years, 600k. So finance. finance. Okay, so you, you, you discounted their asking price by 40%. And, and, and in addition, that's out of seller finance. Well, that's insulting. Normally, you pay more than the asking price. Than the asking price, mm. okay, uh, to get them to accept seller finance. But anyway, <laughs> the, 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 the fatherland. I mean, uh, you know, I'm surprised that, uh, that, that was my we're idea. not executing them. Maybe, maybe so, I should tell you my offer because yeah, yeah. Are, if they want, if, okay, if they want you cash, said 300. Yeah, if they want cash now, it's 300k. Oh, 250 now, and we keep the daughter for one year because she's good for nothing. And after one year, another 50k. And if they want the full price, well, we'll never make it anyway. So we'll probably 20, 20 years for the full price. And if it's too long, we're at 600k for 10 years. But I mean, I don't. Are you? I don't understand why we should have debts for like 20 years to buy pieces of shit like this. Well, no, but what would happen after two years? You're gonna go. Refinance it with a bank. Yeah. Pull out money. That's assuming you increase the inventory. Well, yeah. Well, they, well the, the, the assumption is always got to, we're going to uh, not add value in the sense that you guys think about adding value. But I mean, adding, uh, you, we buy something and bolt it onto that, you know. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, but um, there's there's no, when, when, again, I've never seen a business plan with projections uh, fail on paper. I mean, uh, yeah. and most of them do fail on paper. Uh, so, um, but what would you offer? Um, now, is this in conjunction with your other portfolio, or the other stuff that you're already on? Okay, so this makes sense in that sense. Yes. Okay. It's okay. Strategic. Okay. Because otherwise, as a standalone, I'd say next go okay. shove it. You know, but uh, in conjunction with all the other, you know, the stuff that they own, um, it's 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 100 seller finance. Um, I would probably offer them uh, what they asked for, a million, uh, over 10 years. Uh, no, oh, now, does he need this money to retire on? His um, or she, wife. Or, or she, she wants to be close to you. Yeah, she, she, wants to, she wants to continue. But she's 45 and she owns 90% of the company. Okay, so. and he's leaving. And he's leaving and his uh, wife is very ill. Okay. Uh, he, so that, he doesn't need any money. He has, what, uh, 10% of the company. It's for his daughter. What I'm saying is, of the 100% seller finance, okay, we push out no no payments for two years. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, oh. assuming again that you're going to add value and increase the right. and then you refinance. Well, you got to, very few of you kids add any fucking value whatsoever. That's true. <laughs> In fact, almost all of you uh, take away value from the company. That's 29 years talking. Okay. But you got to sell them now. You know, you got to convince yourself you're going to add value uh, when you don't. You know, there's other things, you know, it's, it's like uh, my mother, uh, when I was uh, uh, a teenager and I, I, I thought I was smitten or in love with somebody, she says, what, is, what does her mother look like? That's what she's going to look like in 25 years. 
And I go look at the mother, and the mother looks like a Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> and so I say, the best advice, only advice my mother ever gave me about anything. What does the mother look like? And for the, I mean, and she's built like a, a big truck. That's what she's going to look like. So um, the um, she has a, a, an additional strategic reason for doing this. And since it's self-finance, I mean, there's no reason, you know, uh, over 10 years, the difference between 600,000 and a million is not peanuts. Right. And then taking in, uh, in consideration inflation and price adjustments now, the, uh, those numbers are going to, it's got to raise now. Yeah, in 10 must, years, must go a million, uh, it's going to be a million and a half, you know, if you index it. Um, now, you, you guys are asking significantly more sophisticated questions of yourself than the sellers are going to ask. Hmm. Now, if the sellers have a son-in-law who's an accountant or a brother-in-law who's a lawyer, and blah, 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 uh, the, um, that can uh, throw a uh, spanner in the works, as they say here, uh, to slow it down. But as I under, understood, the most important reason this isn't the million, it's what you can do with it in the rest of your portfolio. Mm -hmm. And so you're buying, you know, in most strategic purchases, <coughs> you pay uh, you over pay for. Yeah. But no, most strategic purchases are bought with commercial debt. This is, is going to be seller finance. And um, you have no risk, and you have better chances of creating synergies and increase the Correct. Income. And that's fine. If I were to do it standalone, I don't think I would change my, my price range. I mean, you want to no, show no, it's very low. No, I wouldn't even made it, made it, made it off. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have even made it off. But there's one challenge. They um, want to have an asset deal. So all the real estate will go off. But then, and it's not included yet, they uh, want a rent of 4,000 euros a month. And the CEO, CEO salary is missing because... They don't no, pay what we said, very the, Natasha, good. is that we took the average. Uh, we said with the... So th the salary of the daughter and the, the actual own, uh, CEO, Six. both of them, you're going to replace them with yeah. a new one. You can get somebody for 60K a year. CEO of a 2 million euros company, it's fine. Uh, it's just the, the rent that's not there. That's about, it's going to take off 50K of your EBITDA. Mm -hmm. That's why I made a three times new EBITDA offer which is 100K times three, that's 300K. And otherwise, it's 10 times your EBITDA. Yeah. And so 10 years, for me, it's short. I mean, I don't have anything to eat at the end of the year, so I would not, that's, why we, that's why we made 600K, because of the rent that was not paid so far that we'll have to pay after. Well, months. I mean, uh, another way of looking at this, uh, they're just buying uh, themselves an income stream from rent. Yeah, and then you negotiate it that way. You say, well, you're getting the income from the rent, so we don't put in the price. Yeah, I mean, uh, over, let's see, 50 grand times 10 years, that's 50, 500 grand yeah. that you're paying in rent. Now, is, is that the going rate? Is the rent reasonable, too high, too low? It's reasonable. Three euros <coughs> per meter is fine. In well, this you, could, you could tell them one million is fine over 10 years, but since you're adding the rent... Uh, it's going to be about 50k for 10 years at 500k, and I'm offering you 600 now. So in total, I am we are we are actually paying you over 10 years a million one. So you spin it, say so we're actually paying you more than you're asking for. Well, that's it's, it's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah. I like that, it. That sounds like a, a Moroccan. Uh, <laughs> 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 Yeah. Sometimes they buy it. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Well, we've been working on this 500 years. You know, it's three million stitches. Yeah. And then we bought it at the Four Seasons Hotel for 350, down from 25 grand. I mean, the. Uh, so bad. Yeah. You don't ask, you don't get, so you'll see it. No, that's true. That's yeah. true. You know, and, um, and you never know. More in the corporate world, it's like the Russian stuff that we're looking at now. They've been told. Some of the assets have to be off the balance sheet by December 31 this year. And when the board says off the balance sheet, <clears throat> either that's off the balance sheet or you're going to be off the court. Off the head. Yeah, yeah. you're going to be fired. Uh, but um, because there's always a reason, another reason 
This is pretty clear in the Russian thing because of the Putin in the war, the, the people of the, the free world went out. They don't really want out. They're being forced out. They're being shamed out. Mm. Mm. Nobody wants to sell these fucking assets that are, uh, you know, yeah. shitting gold in That's Russia. Right. Yeah. But aren't so, you going to be in trouble because of the different bans? If you oh, well, no, but there's, 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 there's exceptions to certain sanctions. And, you know, okay. it, and that's why I said in my career, 50 years, I've never seen sanctions work. I mean, they didn't work against Cuba, Iran. So, I mean, you name it, they don't work. Because there's always a way, uh, almost always a way around it. Hmm. Um, and, uh, and I'm not talking about the black markets. If you, if you want to have the black market, I mean, I mean, the sanctions are a joke. They're a joke. Uh, Putin already said, and he didn't have to say this, we're going to sell oil above the $60 max that uh, they're, they're putting on us, supposedly. Uh, there's a max now, and he's getting around it. So, uh, but yeah, but I mean, the, um, the, the rent and the CEO, and the CEO salary is going to be what? The, the CEO, CEO salary is going to be what? Yeah, 6,000 euros. That's... No, the salary of the CEO. Yeah. That's what they, both of them cost today. So we assume replacing both of them with one guy yeah. would make sense. Market and price for a CEO. Company, and it's a small company, so it's a good salary. But she wants to stay. Yeah, but fuck that. I mean, yeah. She's, not, she's, she's no good. I mean, can you imagine? He's 70 years old. Why is he still there? It's because he doesn't trust his daughter to run the business. And she's 45. That's why she's asking so much money. And she doesn't want to stay for real. So she pretends Not because all. she thinks that it, because it's going to reassure a buyer because she stays because her, her accountant told her you have to stay a little, few months, etc. And then she's never going to come to work or not do it well. So you will have to get rid of her. So do it from the beginning. Tell her, well, maximum one year and then we get rid of you whenever we want. Once the new guy comes in, you show him the rope for two months and then boop, out. Well, it doesn't sound like it would take two months to show anybody the rope. Yeah. So, <laughs> This is not a, a difficult economic model. 